Happy New Year. Good morning, loved ones. Good morning, America. Good morning, my, my friends. Happy 2021. 1 1 21. I love it. 1 1 21. And there is a scripture that comes to my mind this morning. The steadfast love of the Lord never changes. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness, almighty God. As time marches through history, we only live in one place at one time, at all times. And that is in the present. And God's mercy is in the present. He got us through the last year. That's, I, I don't even want to mention it. <laughs> no, it, look, it, it was a blessing for many people in many ways. 2020 is behind us. It is written in the history books. Sayonara, adios, hasta luego, goodbye. And hello, 1121. 1121. A brand new year. A brand spanking new year. Filled with hope. Filled with promise. Filled with expectation. Filled with miracles. Filled with everything. Wait, wait. wait. Y'all probably can't even hear me. Is that better? Yeah. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I have so much hope and so much faith for amazing miracles in 2021. My uh, my siblings and I will will pray and ask God for a word, a single word, one word that will be like a foundation stone, the rock under which we stand. Of course, Christ is the rock upon which we stand. He is our firm, immovable foundation. But a theme word. And uh, this morning I was asking God for a theme word. And I'm not, yeah, I guess I am locked down on it as I ponder it, as I think about it. <clears throat> My word for 2021 is miracles. And I am believing and expecting God to allow these eyes to witness, these ears to hear of miracles. And it doesn't, doesn't have to be me. It doesn't have to be, you know, all about me. It's not. It's not about me. I, I want to, if anything, simply be obedient. That's all I want to do. And watch God do amazing things. And that's what we do on this show. We pray for America. We pray for our president. And we may, we, the show might be over <laughs> on 2021. I mean, yeah, 1 21 21, whenever the inauguration is, might be our last show. I, I, I haven't planned that far ahead. We might just switch, might just switch to a different president and keep on praying. But one thing I can tell you, my hope is in the Lord. And my joy is based on him. And that will not, not change. It will never change. So with the same exuberant joy that we approach the throne every day, let us take just a few minutes here at the beginning of the year, dedicate ourselves to the purposes of God, dedicate America to God in 2021. It's kind of fun to say 2021. I like I like the way it sounds. Lord, we approach your throne. By the way, good morning, Mame. Good morning, Beth. Good to see you. I I half expected I would be just recording to no one because it's early in the morning on the first day of the year and people sleep in on the first day of the year. <laughs> 
but I'm grateful that you're here. Lord, we approach your throne with the joy of a a teenager running to Six Flags over Georgia, anticipating roller coasters and fun. We enter into your presence with great joy for all that you have done and all that you will do. And Lord, I, I would like to begin the day with gratitude, just thanking you. You are our righteous Father. You are our holy Savior. And Holy Spirit, you are the one who inhabits us and empowers us to do God's will every day. We thank you for who you are and all that you have done. And we thank you in advance, knowing that you are good and everything that you do is good, knowing that we can trust you, knowing that we're happy if we trust you. Your word says, blessed is the man who trusts not in his own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledging you You will direct our paths, and you do that every day, all day long. It's so fun. Lord, we we cry out on behalf of the injustice of abortion, Father, the, the heinous slaughter of innocent babies in our land. God, please, this year, May the biggest miracle be that abortion becomes unthinkable in America. Thank you, God. Lord, we pray for revival in our land. Lord, may 2021 be a year marked by dramatic moving of your spirit and revival, Lord. May our sons and our daughters come home to you, Lord. And may we be ministers of reconciliation to our family, our loved ones, and our neighbors and friends. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Lord, we pray for our president, President Donald J. Trump. We pray that you would give him wisdom and boldness. That you would give him wisdom and boldness. That he would take the the actions you desire him to take on behalf of the country he loves and take them with courage. Lord, give him clear-eyed vision of what to do and how to do it. Lord, I pray for those around him, his advisors. I pray, Father God, that you will protect him, his wife, our First Lady Melania, Vice President Pence and his wife, Karen. Lord, I pray for Ben Carson and all that serve on the president's cabinet, Lord, that you would strengthen them and give them health and give them wisdom. Thank you, God. Lord, may may our nation's governors, mayors, judges, Lord, may they serve you, may they love you, may they obey you, or may they be removed from office in due time, Lord. Thank you, God. We want, we cry out for a righteous, godly government over us and a nation that loves the Lord. Thank you, Father. And finally, Lord, we pray for the results of the election of 2020. Lord, we conclude, we believe that there is foul play afoot. It's, you'd have to be blind not to see it. You'd have to be deaf not to hear it. And uh, there are those who are convinced that the evil doing is on our side. But Lord, you know the truth. And we pray, Father, that you will do as you command us to do in Ephesians 5, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. For everything exposed to the light becomes 
biblical. I mean, it becomes visible. So, Lord, expose all wrongdoing, whichever side it's on, and let righteousness reign and rule in our land. And we thank you, Father. We thank you for doing it, Father. Lord, give strength to those who are working so hard, so many diligent, so many volunteers are following your lead and just making phone calls and and checking the voter rolls. And they themselves, they're, they're just normal, everyday citizens uncovering fraud. They're exposing the evil deeds of darkness, Lord. Give them God's speed. Thank you, Lord. And finally, Jesus, on this New Year's Day, I pray, Father, for all of our friends who are sick or afflicted in whatever way, through financial hardship, through emotional stress, through the loss of a loved one, or through sickness. Dear God, may this year of miracles begin right now. I lift up my beloved sister Janice and ask you to eradicate cancer from her body. Cancer be healed in the name of Jesus, in my sister Janice, in Karen, in Diane, in my my friend Andy. Cancer be healed in all of these people. In my friend Jerry Jebo, I I think he's in full remission, but Lord, bring miraculous health. Lord, I, I just, it just popped into my head that, that the picture of when you told Lazarus, come forth. And he had, he'd been in the tomb for days. And yet, yes, amen. Let justice reign. Good word, Mame. You told Lazarus, come forth. And so we, following your lead, Lord, Say to our friends, my buddy Joel, my friends Mike and Cindy, and all of your friends who you're thinking of right now, be healed in the precious and mighty name of Jesus. Come forth in the name of Jesus. And may we as his saints be people who have a habit of stepping out in faith and praying for one another. And may this be a year of miracles in your life and in my life as we trust in God and walk in faith. What a joy, what a a blast, what a life. We trust you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, thank you for the unity of the saints. Thank you, dear God, for your priestly prayer in John 17. May they be one as we are one. Jesus said, Father, you in me and I in them. May they be dwelling together in unity. And we just believe for that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, for once, I'm going to keep it to 14 minutes. (laughs) And I appreciate you guys so much. This is Pray for America 714. We get together at 7 a.m. in the morning and pray for 14 minutes, although it always goes over, out of 2 Chronicles 714. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you guys. I appreciate you. Keep me in prayer. I'll be heading up to Atlanta tomorrow to join in that beautiful prayer rally that Jim Garlow is uh, organizing. And we will, uh, we will see you. Happy New Year. 
I, uh, I will not be doing a John Morgan show this afternoon at 5. And, uh, but I love you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you. And here is... Here's to 2020, 2021, a victorious, God-filled, joy-filled year. Can you drink coffee without slurping? I don't even know. Take care.